How's it going everyone? And this video is going to be about how to gain confidence by doing this simple uh, trick. You could do this, you know, every time you come to a stop at a stop sign for the whole day of riding. You could do this pretty much every time you're stopping anywhere. You come to a parking lot like this and try it. But yeah, I don't care if you've been riding for one week or 10 years. Um, sometimes when I ask people to do this, like if I do a practice session, people still get kind of all freaked out and they're just not as confident with it um, based on a couple fundamental things they're doing wrong or just not aware so here it is so I'm just gonna ride around a little bit and then I'll come directly towards that GoPro and I can show you what that looks like so the thing is just for now level one here's white belt right white belt is you stay in first gear and what you want to do you're gonna come to a stop you're gonna pull in the clutch take your hand off take your left foot off only use the rear brake and come to a stop Seems simple enough, right? All you're doing, you go 10 miles per hour, roll off the throttle to 0%, take off your right hand, pull in the clutch, you take your left foot off, so it's kind of like doing the Rossi leg dangle for, for as long as you want to, and then only use the rear brake to stop, and you decide whenever you want to stop. Just come to a nice, easy stop, no problem. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, oh, well, that's easy. Okay, we'll do it. See if you could do it. So here we go again. 10, 11, 13, 15 miles per hour, roll off the throttle, left foot off, I want to stop at that tar snake right there. Nice, easy, controlled stop. It's not jerky. You're not stomping. That's it. So let's see what it looks like going directly towards the camera. So get a little bit of speed. Zero throttle, hand up, foot off. And only use the rear brake. And just roll all the way down to a stop nice and easy. See if you could do that. So it's ironic because um, I do this almost every single stop. So I have my visor down. As I'm coming up to a stoplight, Right, say I'm in fourth gear. As I'm coming to a stoplight, I pull in the clutch, I go all the way down to first gear. Now I'm in first gear, I hold the clutch in, and then I take this hand off, right? I lift up my visor like I just did, you know, I, I check my, I adjust my sunglasses if I need to, scratch my nose, blah, 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 whatever, using the rear brake to slow down. Or, if I'm going faster, I use the front brake to get the majority of the slowing down, right? And then, once I get the majority of slowing down, then I, hold, then I go all the way down the first gear, pull in the clutch, then I go off the front brake, lift up my visor, scratch my nose, whatever I want to do, and I finish almost every single stop I ever do anywhere. I finish probably the last 10 feet or 8 feet or so with the rear brake. That's how I do that. But I always but I take off my thing, everything is good, so that way once I come to a stop, then I don't have to, you know, a lot of people, they put their bike in neutral, then they adjust, and they stretch, and they adjust their glasses. And the whole time, they're just setting ducks in neutral. So if a car comes up behind them, and it's not stopping. Someone comes over here. If something happens, you're not going to have the time to get the hell out of the way. And this has saved me twice already, being in first gear at stoplights. So get, I say get try to get everything done you need to get done before you actually come to a stop. So once you come to a stop, the clutch is in, you're in first gear, you're on the rear brake. Right? You come to a stop, you adjusted everything, then once you actually stop, your hands are back on the thing, you're paying attention to what's going on, and you have a, a plan A, plan B for escape routes. So I'll show you again. So remember I said white belt is just first gear, nice, easy, come to a stop, right? So blue belt, go a little bit higher up, and I just go faster, and then include the downshift. Second gear, pull the clutch, downshift, lift it up. So you downshift before you take your left foot off. That's the only real difference. And there's no real any higher level than blue belt than that. <laughs> I mean, it's just two levels. Either doing first gear or get all the downshifts out of the way as well. So I'll go around the big old parking lot over here. And I'll go to third gear and I'll go faster. I'll show you what it looks like from the back. So pulling the clutch all the way down to first gear. Hand off, foot off and slowly, easily come to a stop. And whenever you come to a stop, if you have to put your hand back on, or if you have to take your right foot off, then you messed up, it doesn't count, right? So if you do this, it'll give you tremendous confidence because you'll understand you gotta keep the handlebars straight whenever you're coming to a stop, how nice and softly and easily to use the rear brake as you're coming to a stop, how the bike needs to be straight up and down, where you're looking, momentum, speed, I mean, it teaches you a lot of things that you may not be aware of because if you're messing this up and it's freaking you out to take your hand off and come to a stop, it'll make you realize you don't need both hands. You're probably too tense. You're probably looking down. Handlebars are turned. Bike is not straight up and down. So whenever you come to a stop, the bike wants to fall over and this will force you to do the right technique. Otherwise, the bike will fall over. You see what I'm saying? This forces you to do it the right way. 
See? Hand off, foot off, nice and easy, slow, slow, easy, come to a stop. If I would have had the handlebars turned and leaned over and like that, the bike just would have fell over or I would have had to put my foot down, grab the handlebars and kind of freak myself out. So this forces you to learn how to control the bike in a more controlled way <laughs> with, uh, with more confidence, make it a whole lot easier to do. And then that way, if you just come to a stop with, you know, you put both feet down or you put, or you keep your hands on the handlebar, well, how much easier is that going to be? It's just one trick that I do that I usually tell people, if I meet up with riders that are really brand new, this is probably the first thing I tell them to do. I tell them to go down the parking lot. I tell them to go around that car, come down here like this, go up to second gear. And as you're coming to a stop, I want you to pull in the clutch, downshift the first. And once you do that, take your right hand off, left foot only touches the ground and stop directly next to me. So when I ask people to do this, let's see if they could actually do it first of all. And then let's see if they could actually stop where, where my hand is. Like I want you to stop right next to me right here. So if they stop before me, that was too much, too, too much rear brake right too soon and then their judgment's off if they go past me and stop way over there they're not using enough rear brake or they started the sequence too late so it's a judgment and timing issue but if they're able to do that and come to a stop right next to me that's good but the bike almost falls over now they're looking at me instead of looking straight now their handlebars are turned now the bike's leaned over all the things they're not supposed to do so that's just like first thing i have i have people do if i meet up with them that they're really really brand new riders just for like a confidence thing or I just challenge people to do it for fun, even if you've been riding 10 years or whatever, if we're doing a meetup practice session. But um, I highly recommend trying it out. And you don't have to go to a parking lot like this. Just do it at every single stop sign for an entire day of riding. Right hand off, left foot off, and only use your rear brake to come to a stop. And try to stop with your only your left foot touching down and only your left hand on the handlebar. That's the goal. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll chat with you guys later.